there's one thing you've learned about this family and its dysfunction is that they don't mind putting on another face. Lies are what pumps and what, and what lives within this family. And I told you that in the very beginning. She was raised that way, raised to lie. Is it a surprise that she has this fantasy world? Is it a surprise that she has all of these imaginary friends? Is it a surprise that she turned out this way, knowing the lies and actually seeing them firsthand? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where I cover missing persons, unsolved cases, crime news, and more. Well, that was Jose Baez during his defense closing, defending Casey Anthony for the murder of her daughter Kaylee. I gotta say, Jose, the lies, they're not from Cindy or George. She didn't learn to lie from her parents. That all came pretty naturally to her in some way. I don't know if she was dropped on her head at some point. She drank too much one night. I don't know wh when it started. That part can be debated. That's for a whole nother day and a whole nother video. The, the, po the point is, you want to throw every single bit of crap blame at George and Cindy. That's all that happened at the trial of Kaylee, the trial of Casey, excuse me, for the death of Kaylee. And the medical examiner was very clear. This is a homicide. Kaylee didn't drown in the family swimming pool, which is what Jose Baez and his team wanted you to believe. And of course, Casey sure as hell loved that explanation because she's carried it on through the last few years. And that's all she talks about. Oh yeah, my daughter, she drowned in the swimming pool. And it was all my father's fault. George brought her to me and said, look what you did. Look what you did to your daughter. It's all your fault. And then, of course, that's not even going into the whole fact that you blamed him and said that your life was so horrible and that you you said that he would S-age you. What a horrific, awful allegation. What an awful allegation. To say that someone assaulted you, and it's not true. And then you went further in your special and you said, he also assaulted my daughter Kaylee. Wow. I have to say, if I was George, I, I definitely would have disowned you by now. And we all saw in the polygraph, they passed with flying colors. And we've learned, allegedly, anyway, through, uh, there's at least one source that has an exclusive, and I say that in air quotes, from a friend, I guess one of your, what, four or five friends, that you have, that you were in a fit of rage. You were in a fit of rage seeing that your, your father passed his polygraph test. 
You were in a fit of rage. You were just, holy hell. I'm sure you were. I actually believe that. I can visualize you having a fit at seeing that special and seeing that expert FBI examiner telling your father that he passed and he didn't do any of those things that you've accused him of. I could see your face. I could see it. How about you guys? I could, I could visualize it. Because in your little world, in your little bubble, Casey, in your bubble, it's not your fault for anything. You haven't done anything wrong. It's all George's fault. It's all Cindy's fault. It's all the world's fault. But no, it's not Casey's fault. Casey doesn't do anything wrong. Maybe if you took some blame for your mistakes in life and your errors, you learn a few things. But I don't think that's going to change. And according to this article, you are so upset that you may do a rebuttal. I hope you do. As a matter of fact, your mom actually stated it in the interview that she would love to see you take the polygraph test. How about it, Casey? How about it? Let's do a rebuttal and you sit in that hot seat and you take a polygraph test with the, with the same FBI expert examiner, the same guy. Let's make it all fair. We'll be on solid ground here. Okay, they'll take you to that undisclosed location. And you take the polygraph test. Let's see how you do. Let's see how your polygraph comes out. I don't know. She's such a liar. It's in her DNA now. I want to see her attached to a lie detector test. So what do you say, Casey? Let's get this polygraph on the road. I'm sure if you call... A&E, I'm sure they'll be more than happy to set you up and, and get you going sooner than later. If you want to disprove what your father and your mother have stated, that's going to be the way to do it. But I don't think you're going to do it. I don't think you'll ever allow that to happen. I just don't see it. You could prove me wrong. So, so prove us wrong. If you are not the liar here, let's take a polygraph test. Let the truth come out. All right, guys, that's all I've got for this one. I hope you have a great rest of the day. And most of all, stay safe.